Hey CCSU, want to do a quick look at breakout tips and tricks with students in Blackboard Collaborate. So I am in a Blackboard Collaborate session right now. I am the moderator with my five students. And let's say I want to take my five students and put them into breakout groups. So I opened up the Collaborate panel. I go to the Share tab button in the middle and I choose breakout groups. From here, I can custom assign and move students into different groups. I could do it randomly since there's only five students. I really only have one choice to make two groups and it tells me one group will have three and one will have two. I can give them the option to switch and move to different groups. I can scroll down and see already what the random assignment has been and move students if I like between groups whether I want them in group 1 or group 2 and I can even change the name of group 1 and group 2 so I have the X-Men group and the fun group once I hit start my breakout groups will begin so as the moderator in the main room this is where I can share files with each group so here's a Where's Waldo activity. If I have this file, I'm going to hit the three dots. I'm going to choose Share with Groups. And I'm going to have it share with all groups. That file is going to pop up onto their screen right now. While that's being shared, just so you know, in order to stop the breakout groups, I can hit the Stop button right here which would bring everyone back to the main session. Now let's take a look at what the students see and what they can do now that we've shared that file with them. So welcome to the student view. I can see as Logan, I am in the group X-Men with Cyclops. And when I'm here, whenever I'm in a group, even if I'm the student, I can use the tools that the instructor has access to. So if I go across the top, I have the pencil tool, so I can just circle and find Waldo. I have the shape tool where I can create shapes. And then I have the type tool, so I can type and collaborate on the document. And then the eraser tool, which will clear the whole screen. The color tool, which will let me change what color I'm typing or drawing with. As a student, I also could say, hey, you know what, this isn't the right file, I don't want to work on this. I can stop the group from seeing this. And I could share my own file, I could share my camera, I could share the screen, we could share a whiteboard. And the only thing I want to point out in this video today is when you work on something as a group or have your students work on a project, The only way to save this data is to take a screen grab. So in Windows, you hit the Windows key, Shift, and S, and that darkens the screen and creates some tools across the top. So I can highlight just this area that I want to screen grab. And then I could open up a Word document and paste this file into a Word doc so that I could save what my students are working on. There are other options, but we'll save that for another video. Thanks a lot. Make sure that switch group option is on. When I switch to the student view, which I don't see it, thanks a lot, collaborate. I'm refreshing my screen. Whenever I have errors, I'll refresh the screen. So let's see if I open up the Collaborate panel. I can't move groups. Why not? Sometimes it bugs out on you and it's no fun, especially when you're in a live session. Because it says here, Allow Attendees Switch Groups. So if I uncheck that, check it again, hit Update, that should fix it.
So there we go. So now, as a as a student, if I noticed I was in the wrong group, I get the same options to join with the green arrow to switch groups.